Squarespace has a built-in search feature, but the design settings of that search feature are just not that awesome. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to customize it to make it uniquely yours. I'm Becca Harpain from Inside the Square, and all the codes I'm about to share with you are listed in the description below. But without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you and teach you how to customize the search bar and the search results page on your Squarespace website with CSS. Let's get started. Here we are inside Squarespace, and let's start by adding a search bar to this page. I'm going to select the Edit option. I'll choose Add Block, and here we'll grab the search bar, and let's pull it over to the side of the page. Now, before we get into any of the design settings, I want to point out something really important, vertical alignment. We can't reduce this search bar to just take up one space on the grid. It has to take at least two. But with the font size I've chosen, that search bar has a little bit of a gap at the bottom of the content block. So we can align it vertically like this. If you do make that change, don't forget to double check the mobile version of your website because you can align something vertically here as well without affecting desktop. Now that we have it aligned, let's go ahead and click on this option and talk about the display settings. Here you can choose the dark theme or the light theme. That's going to change the icon in front of search. Now this has a white background, so we can't see the light icon. We can only see the dark icon. But when it comes to customizing that search bar, that's literally our only option here in the interface. For all of the other customizations, we need to use CSS. Now I'm going to toggle off the quick preview because we're also going to talk about the search results page. And let's go ahead and start adding some custom code to make the search bar unique. I'll select save and exit. And on the left hand side of the screen, I'm going to navigate to pages, then website tools, then custom CSS. This is where you're going to paste the codes that you'll find underneath the video. Let me zoom in here a little bit. The main code that we're working with today is search input. That's the code name for our search bar. Now I'm gonna open up a curly bracket and one of the first things I wanna do is make this border unique. I'm going to say border 3px solid light blue and because there's already a border there, I'm going to add exclamation point important to make sure the computer browser picks up on my code instead. Now you can change the thickness of this border maybe 5px would suit your style a little bit better. You've got a lot of customization options there. You can go solid or dotted or dashed or even double, whatever you'd like to see for your own unique border. Now, after you've customized the border to suit your style, let's also talk about the corners. These are set to 90 degree corners, but for some designs, you might want to soften the edges a little bit. So let's add a border radius. I'm going to say border radius, how about 15px? There we go, we've got a soft curve at the corners. Now, if that's not enough, you can absolutely increase this to something like 50px to get it completely rounded on the edges, super customizable. Now that we've customized this search input, I wanna talk about what happens when we click into it and start typing. Check this out. This is called the focus state. Immediately, Squarespace is going to add an extra outline to that search bar and we can customize that. But to do that, we need to add a new line of code and we're going to say search input focus, because again, this is the focused state. That's what creates that outline effect. Now I'm gonna open up a curly bracket and I'll say outline. How about we just start with outline 5px solid light blue and repeat ourselves here. We're gonna say exclamation point important because there is an outline and we're overriding it. And now we have a double thick outline here. Now, if you don't want that outline at all, you can remove it by saying outline none and the outline will disappear. But I do like to indicate for my users that we're about to start interacting with this search bar, so let's make it stand out a little bit more. We can absolutely add a background color. Maybe a light gray could be a good choice for this design right here. That'll indicate that I'm about to click in the search bar, but we could also add a box shadow. How about box shadow? Let's make a super simple one here that also has that light blue color to it. We'll remove the background color and let's look at the box shadow. And there we go. We've got a soft light blue that really indicates I'm about to type something into the search bar. So again, we're using search input and you can customize it as you see fit. Now, if you wanna change the way that the text inside is going to look, here's what we can do. In search input, we can say font size, maybe 20 PX if you want it to be a little bit bigger or maybe a little bit smaller, depending upon the font style that you're using. You can also change the font completely. Maybe you want it to be the font family of serif or something totally different than the fonts that you're using. And maybe all you want to do is change the color. Let's just have the color of the text be blue. 
Add any of these custom codes for font and text properties to your search input, and you're going to change the, how the text is displayed inside that search bar. All right, we've added some code here. Let's go ahead and select save. And again, you'll find all of this in the description below, but I'm gonna go ahead and search for something that I know is on this site, and that's the word blog. So we can take a look at our search results page. I'm gonna hit enter on my keyboard and the search results page will load. And there we go. Now we're looking at the search results page and we've got a lot more to customize. This page is an auto page, automatically generated based on user activity. That means we're not going to find it here in our pages menu, but we can still customize it with code. Hop into website tools and custom CSS and let's add a label here for our search results page. Let me zoom in on the screen here really quick. All right, let's get to customizing. Now the search bar at the top of this page has a slightly different code name. It's SQS search page input, but we can give it the same effect by adding a border of 5px solid in light blue. That's important. There we go. And let's give it a border radius as well. How about 50px? Perfect. There we go. Now we have that unique style. I almost forgot we also have the color blue. Let's add that in here as well. There we go. Now we have that unique search input style. All right, underneath this, we've got some content here, and I want you to notice the text that's italicized. When you search for a specific word in your Squarespace website and it shows up in your content, Squarespace is going to italicize that word, but we can make it stand out even more with some custom code. I'm going to add the text SQS search container item EM. That stands for the emphasized word here. And let's go ahead and make the background spelled correctly. There we go. We'll make the background a light blue. Now that text is really going to appear different than everything else, so I can quickly see where those terms are here on my site. Let's do a little bit more to make this page unique. Now, the next code I want to share with you is going to reduce the width of the page because I don't like how it takes up the full width. I want that to be a little bit more narrow for my own unique site style. So I'm going to say SQS search page. We're going to say width 90%, and then this part's very important. Adding that width will shrink it, but it's going to stay aligned on the left. So I also need to say margin auto important. There we go. Now the content's going to be centered, but it's a little bit easier to see because it isn't taking up the full width of the screen. All right, now there's one last code that I wanted to share with you. And again, all of these are in the description below, but this code has to do with these images right here, just in case we want to change the shape of those. Those go by the selector SQS search page item, SQS main image. And now we're going to open up a curly bracket and let's say border radius... 15 px. Now we've got curved corners for those images. We can go even more drastic here. These are set to a one-to-one -one ratio, so we can say border radius 50% and make them perfect circles. But I think for the style we're going for, 15 px was perfect for this particular design. But again, super customizable, just like all the rest of these codes. After you've made all the customizations you'd like to see, don't forget to select save and you'll be good to go. That is just the start of all the fun stuff that you can do to customize your Squarespace website with code, and I hope that you're inspired to try new things. I'm Becca Harpain from Inside the Square, and I've got a lot more to teach you about all the cool things that Squarespace can do. To find the link to all of the codes I just shared in this tutorial and related resources, check out the links underneath this video. Thank you so much for watching, and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. Good news, Squarespacer. We finally have an AI that truly understands Squarespace. Meet Custom Cody. Built specifically for Squarespace users and trained on every nuance of the program, Custom Cody is your AI-powered assistant for effortless expert-level Squarespace customization. Available now at customcody.com.